This fly we're going to tie is a, a winter spay. Uh, we developed it last winter on the Grand Ronde when uh, uh, the bait guys were catching the heck out of fish and we were having a difficult time and we just used the same color combination that they were using. Uh, we'll start out with some pink yarn uh, for the body. We'll separate it into two strands. And like um, all of our spay flies, you, you uh, start the yarn at the front of the hook so you have a nice uniform body. Bind it down to the back. And we're going to take some oval silver tinsel, do the same thing. We're going to bind this down at the front of the hook and work it back, making a nice uniform body. Now, unlike a lot of spay flies, this one is just going to have one tinsel as a counter rib. Um, doesn't really matter if you've got ten tinsels on here, the fish don't seem to care a whole lot. Uh, for the, for the uh, spay hackle, we're going to use some Schloppen dyed orange. And you can see it's nice, long, fibrous stuff, uh, wiggles in the water very well. Pull the fuzzy stuff off the bottom so that we've got nice feathers. Uh, trim the stem out of there. Then we're going to tie this tip in, so fold the fibers back out of your way. Now trim the stem off and the fibers off of the stem and tie it at the back of the hook. Now here we want to fold the fibers down on the, the, the leading edge of the feather. Wrap your thread to the front and then start wrapping your body material. Bring that up to about an eye length back from the eye of the hook and bind that down. Trim it off real short. A couple more wraps. Now we're going to take the, the, the Schloppen hackle and we're going to wrap that forward. You can make this fly as bushy as you want by making more and more wraps of hackle. Um, I, I personally only like about five or six wraps of hackle on these flies. Um, too bushy, I think, detracts from this particular pattern. So we're going to bring the fibers, the, or the feather forward. Five or six wraps. There's three, four, five, six, and then a couple wraps right in the front of the body. Two wraps there. Bind that down. And tie it off. Trim it. Any of these uh, longer fibers you have sticking out, just trim them back out of your way. Now we're going to counter rib this with the silver tinsel so that uh, it fishes well, the fish don't chew it up. And for that, you're going to need a bodkin. So you wrap this tinsel the opposite direction over the top of your hackle, pulling the fibers out of your way every time you wrap it forward. And it's okay to bind down a few fibers, you just don't want to bind down the whole batch of them. Now this fly in the, in the water has a ton of movement. Um, and it, uh, even in very, very slow water like you find for winter steelhead, um, they, it just moves and wiggles like rabbit fur would. And when you've got this tinsel up to the front of the hook, you'll bind it down and tie it off and trim it. Five or six wraps. 
Now we'll use a, a collar on this and we're going to use some uh, mallard dyed purple. It's a mallard flank feather and, and uh, one of the other fibers or feathers that we'll use sometimes is a, a hen mallard flank feather dyed purple. It just gives a little bit more of a, of a dark stripe through it. So we'll separate these fibers and tie them tip in. So we've got that ready to tie in like so. Bind it down four or five times, fold the tip back, bind it down a few more times. Then we're going to fold, fold back the, the mallard feather. And wrap that forward. Now here you only need about three wraps of this stuff just to add a little bit more color. Bind that down. Fold your fibers back. Now for fishing flies, a lot of times with these collars, you want to wrap over the stem of the feather that you've tied down just to make it a little bit stronger. That also pushes the fibers back a little, little more sleekly than sticking straight out. Um, now for the wing, we're going to use a, um, uh, just a neck hackle. We're going to take two, two feathers off of the left side and two feathers off of the right side for the wing. This uh, particular neck is kind of a shrimp orange color. So we take these feathers, put them together so that the tips are the same length, pull some of the fibers off the bottom end, and trim the stem off kind of short. We'll set that aside. That's one side of the hackle. Do the same thing with the other side with the other two feathers. Even the tips up. Pull the fibers back and trim the stem short. Now you'll put these feathers, the two, uh, the two sides back to back so that they curve together. like so. And you can see that this, these feathers have a definite curve. You want that, that curve to go down over the top of the hook shank like so. And one of the things that we do if you want a really nice small head is that you'll trim all of those stems very, very short so that you just bind them down without any trimming afterwards. So two or three wraps holds that very, very well. Then bind everything down very tight. and whip finish it and you have a winter spay. It's a great fishing fly.